I'm here with another video and in today's video uh, we have an Asus VivoBook. Uh, this laptop, the exact model is an VivoBook F512F. The model number shows up right at the bottom in the middle. Uh, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to repaste your CPU and clean up your fan in this model really quick and really fast. All right. Uh, before we start, you need few tools. Tool number one, you need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. They have one of the best tool sets out there. They are S12 class uh, metals, steel. Uh, from this tool set, we're going to be using Phillips number zero. Also, you will be needing an opening tool. They do include an opening tool in their package, in the Pro package. But if you don't want to get it, you can simply grab a metallic guitar pick. This is the, pretty much the same thing, soft round edges and really tough. And second thing would be uh, tweezers, any type of tweezers, pointy. And you will need obviously a thermal paste. I use the Arctic MX4 thermal paste. You want to get one of the better ones, you can go with the uh, what's called Thermal Grizzly paste. Those are one of the top brands, but obviously much more expensive. But Arctic MX4 is, is still one of the second top ones. All right, to get it started, you need to flip down, flip over the laptop, and you want to see a whole bunch of screws on the bottom cover. There is no heading screws or anything like that under the rubber legs on this model. Everything is exposed. So, but there are three types of screw heights, sizes in here. The front end of the laptop has one, two, three, four screws. These are the short screws. So let's go ahead and remove these ones. Also, I really appreciate if you guys subscribe and click that like, like button on the video. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests. All right, once we remove the short screws on the front end, we're gonna remove the only longest screw that is in the bottom cover is the far back at the uh, middle back. This one is the longest one. So this is the longest screw. Now the rest, two on each side and one in the middle, these are the medium screws. All right, once you remove the screws at the bottom cover, you want to grab your opening tool. You want to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle. You want to grab the opening tool or guitar pick in this case, and you want to stick it about two or three millimeters between the top and the bottom cover. So just somehow manage it to stick it right there. And now you want to twist it. So twist it towards the outer side so you can open it up. You want to do this all around in the front end. Take your time. With this one, you cannot scratch. It's really hard unless you do it in purpose. If you take your time, it's really nice and easy. Go all the way to the back, to the left and right side. All right. Now we got the front and the sides open. You don't want to pull it up yet because at the back, we need to release the back one. You start from one corner here, between the top, right at the edge of the grill, right, right at the back. You just want to just pop it open right there and do your work right around go all the way to the other end and the cover is just going to come out there we go all right this is the surprise i'm not even shocked i seen few of these ones but what can you say there's no heat piping or there's no fins or anything like this this is a passive cooling pretty much so the air is sucked down from these holes right here and it has to travel over here over this copper sheet it's not even copper pipe or anything like that and goes back out from the back end of the screen so this is very trashy system to do at least it can put a tiny hit pipe or make it better for those that want to do a small low-end graphics or games. 
All right, now we can see the whole heat in the fan is again really dusty. We see all this dust build up in here. Before we do anything, if you want to, you don't have to remove the battery if you are really careful. But if you want to disconnect the battery, you have to remove this jack right here. All right, all you need to do is move this jack backward. And then you just want to pull this contact up toward the ceiling. And it will just come out. That's how you just bend it over so it doesn't touch back. All right. To remove the fan, there's one, two, three screws to remove with the same Phillips screw. So remove these three screws. Now what you want to do, you want to clean it up. You need an air, um, air can or compressed air. I'll leave the link in the description for uh, the one that I use. Is a really powerful one. So once you remove the, the screws, untangle the cable right here. Now remove this tape. Remove the fan. I don't like to pull on these cables. It can damage or rip the cables. So I just put the tweezers right between the jack and just wiggle around. I remove it that way. There we go. Now this is the fan is really dirty. What you want to do, you want to grab an old toothbrush or new one, whatever suits you. And you want to take it out and just want to clean it nicely, softly, both end, and just blow some air through and it will get cleaned. The CPU, to remove this copper sheet right here, remove one, two, three, four screws on a bracket. These are really short screws. Remember the ori orientation of the heatsink. And go ahead and lift it up. Well, I'm not even surprised. They don't even have a thermal pads over the components here that they actually heat up. They're supposed to touch those components right here. I see little tiny marks right here to cool them down. But what can you do? All right, now what you want to do, you want to grab an alcohol, 100% alcohol or 95% at least. And you will need a working towel, a shop towel a working towel, whatever you want to call them. The link is in the description again. You want to soak one corner of this towel and then you want to start rubbing over the CPU and remove the, the old thermal paste. Fold it over, use the clean side. This thermal paste is not conductive, so don't worry about it. And the alcohol is not conductive. And once you clean that up nicely, go ahead and clean up the heatsink too. I don't call this heatsink, I just call it copper sheet. Some sort of heatsink, I guess. All right, now once we got this one in here, to cool down these pads over here, I will suggest you to grab a 0.1 millimeter, 0.2 millimeter thermal pads. I'm going to use an adhesive 0.1 millimeters. I'll leave the link in the description. It will be really nice help for you guys to do this. Your laptop is going to appreciate it. So I see a little mark there. I'll put it on top. And then remove the other side. All right. There we go. That's the only one because that's the highest one. There's no need to put any pads on this one unless you put a thicker pads. All right, grab the thermal paste. Do another round on the, just clean up, make sure there's no dust particles on the crystal die. Place a nice tiny line on the bigger chip. And one tiny drop on the second die chip. You guys can see it. All right, and the next thing would be grab the heat sink, bring it over, align the screw holes. And 
you want to screw them down cross stitch them so put there's a number one two three four as long as you cross screw them yeah, or follow the numbers so i'm gonna for the sake of the video i'm gonna follow the numbers one what i press the one i'm holding down the other side so it doesn't come up press the second one down and now you can go three four or four three doesn't matter and the reason for this one is going cross stitch them is to evenly spread the thermal paste all around if you try to go this way all the way you're just going to push the thermal paste to one side all right this now it's going to help and cool down the other components right there all right now you can see the difference between a clean and the old fan that you had now the airflow is going to be much better so grab the new fan place the jack in first it's easier to first place the jack and then put down the fan right in place i think it was the other way around yep put it down and put the three screws that holds it down on the board And this one is an i core what is it it's an i core 3 8 gen come on it's not even a seller run or anything it really overheats and it, it does an uh, throttling throttling so it really brings down the speed after a few minutes of the using so and the last thing is to put the back in the battery to plug in the battery make sure this contact is all the way back and bring the bring the jack align it over and push it down on the jack and next thing just bring down the cover over so it will, it will prevent it from lifting up and this cable right here you can just tangle it back down to wherever it was put the tape over or just put a new tape and there is no need for tape here so it's not going to go anywhere yeah, you guys didn't see that i was talking about this one i just put the cable all around this place here and i just taped it down if you don't tape it it's not going to go anywhere so yeah once you got this one in and you got thermal paste cleaned up nicely grab the top cover bring it over and push it down make sure you hit those clicks on the sides go all the way to the back all right and now if you see any opening in the front end just grab it and just pinch it really hard it's just gonna pop back in place and the last thing would be to put in the back the bottom covers remember the longest screw goes to the far back mid and the real short ones goes in the front end of the laptop and the medium screws goes all over the place and i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please click that thumbs up button it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys and again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video there we go